this is me sailing so far away from any port at the very bottom of the map going all around the world of the turbulent seas all to do a single thing win a bet and you might be wondering how i got here well it all started one morning when i looked at my messages and i found this i'm better at the turbulent seas than you no you're not Prove it. Ow. Break the world record for the longest time sailed in the turbulent seas. Bet. Just for the record, this might not actually be the longest time, uh, the world record, but I'm pretty sure it is because there is one video on the turbulent seas which is not about breaking the world record and then it's all real life ships. So, there's none on YouTube, but someone might have been there. The ship I'm going to use for this journey is the schooner, which is like the ship below the sloop and the um, brig. But the only problem is, I actually don't have one. Which is really strange, because I thought I'd bought one, but luckily I've got enough to buy one, so I'm just going to buy one now. But that's kind of strange, I didn't realise I didn't have one yet. Okay, now we're at the shipbuilding company. Let's buy a schooner. Um, oh, what do I name it? Um, okay, I've finally thought of a name. I'm gonna call it The Blaze because my other ship's called The Inferno because of my channel. But to be honest, I can't not really think of any names ever so i'm just gonna buy that perfect bought it now let's go set sail okay we have our schooner spawned in and not gonna lie i feel like it's the same size as the brig but it should be the fastest ship because it's the small well it's not the smallest the sloop's the smallest but it's pretty small and it's got two sails which makes it really fast you might say that the galleon's faster because it's got three sails right there uh, but it's not because it's such a big ship. It's got so much weight. It just slows it down So it's time to set sail on our voyage and um, Yeah, I'm not that excited for this so this will be pretty interesting and I Most likely will be quite bored 90% of the trip. I'm expecting it to take a Good hour and a half maybe even longer maybe two hours so that's gonna be just great, isn't it? Oh, uh, it's okay, I'll probably just watch YouTube or something while I'm doing it, I don't know. Yeah, so we're setting off, and we'll go across here, all the way back to Volim. And then, yeah, I'm not gonna take any cargo, by the way. You might be wondering, why can't I just take that, because I'll get a lot of money for delivering it that far. Uh, it slows you down, it puts a lot of weight on you. And yeah, so I'm just going to do this for a while. It has been so long, and I am so bored. If you can see right here on the map, I am right down here. I still need to go all the way around that way. I'm about, I want to say halfway, but I think I'm just under halfway. It is taking so long, but like, 
Oh my goodness, it's just like so boring. <laughs> it's crazy. Um Yeah. Don't try and do this because you will bore yourself to death. And I thought that this would be a good video to make. Oh, I don't know why I can't zoom in. I thought this would be a good video to make. I was wrong. Now I am really, really bored. Uh, man, my friend better give me something good for doing this because, like, this is crazy. Uh, I was making a little time lapse of this. Uh, of me going through the map. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I just could not be bothered to have the map open the entire time all that way and be recording the entire way. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to stop it right here. But it should look pretty good anyway. Okay, well, I'll see you again once I'm further through. This is what feels like day 800 of sailing. Um, I just heard a cracking noise, cracking, kraken noise over that direction. I don't really know if they've added the cracking into the Quokic Ocean. I know you used to be able to do it by getting like a kraken lure, but that's unobtainable now. But I'm still hearing them and I don't know if that's ambient or if that's real. I might look into that later and if it's there we can go find a crack in later but as you can see I'm up here I've just got to go through here and back to Volney this is so hard I'm sailing through the entire map it's so long and uh, yeah I am just really 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 bored <laughs> right now so yeah I'll see you later we are literally so close. Oh my goodness, this has taken so long. And I couldn't... Wait, hold on. We're right here. Volney's just up there. I couldn't leave and come back later in case any of you thought I might just do that. Because um, uh, if you leave, then your... Um, uh, then your... What's it called? Your progress goes reset. And you just go back to like, Volney or whatever. Whatever. I could have, like, docked at Hordler and then gotten off uh, and then come back later and finished the rest. But I didn't do that because I wanted this to be as legit as possible. And uh, it wouldn't really count and I couldn't put world record in the title if, um, if I stopped at Hordler. Because then it wouldn't be the longest sail. The, the longest time sailed. It, it would be two halves of the longest time sailed. So yeah, so close to Bonnie. I'll get back to you once we are finally there. Okay, the lights of Volney are in the distance. Oh my goodness, this has taken so long. I went all the way down here, across there, through there, out through here, and across there. <sighs> that was a really weird sound. That was the sound of desperation. Oh no, no, no. Ah, okay, you know what, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You know what, everything's fine. Oh my goodness. <sighs> wow, I have finished this finally. Um, my friend better pay up. Oh, look, my ship's moving. My friend better pay up, man. It took me so long to do this, and I got the world record in the turbulent seas for the longest time sailing, maybe. And uh, it, it was all going well until this happened.